Hey guys, today is a very special day. I am going to do my, I guess like my first vlog, but I don't really know how to go about it. I'm just going to record random things on our day out. But again, today is a very special day because we are going to meet with Charlie's siblings. And we're gonna drive about an hour and a half away. So that's gonna be so much fun. Uh, we're going to Orlando. And yes, unfortunately, I do have to bring the gang. So I'll be with the three kids. I'll be with Luna and of course, Charlie. We're really looking forward to it. I'm actually not looking forward to the drive. I hate driving, but I'm sure that once I see how Charlie uh, and Luna starts playing around and it's just gonna be so like emotionally, uh, what, how will you call it? Emotionally yeah. touching. There you go. My 13 year old son said it. It'll be emotionally touching because you know, I wonder, is he going to remember his parents? Is he going to remember his siblings? We don't know. It's been an entire, almost an entire year. My plans are that we're gonna go over there. We have to be there around two o'clock. It's an hour and a half drive. So GPS told me to leave around 12-ish. So we're gonna get ready to do that. And then I do have plans on coming home, whether exhausted or not, I have to cook dinner. I have some food that it's uh, defrosting and it'll be hopefully ready to go for me to cook when I get home. So in case you've never been to a dog park, I've learned my lesson plenty of times, is you need to go well prepared. Because it's two dogs, I have two different sheets that I don't use. So when we about to leave, I need to make sure I shake them off. They usually have water holes in the dog park, but I don't really wanna have to deal with uh, watering him down and then having to dry him and then having a wet dog in the car. We're gonna try to just take off most of the sand and I'm going to place the sheets in the back seat of the car and on the floor because trust and believe it doesn't matter how good you think you cleaned your dogs you will have a mess inside of your car it will be so dirty your car will need to be cleaned right after i'm bringing a towel just in case and then of course i have the snacks for the kids another thing that i will have to take over there is my little personal roll of uh, doggy poop bags. Dog parks usually have their little section with a trash bin and bags for you to pick up um, your dog's poop. But sometimes they're not literally close to you. So if one of my babies decides to poop right by me, I could just pull out my bag and just walk to where the trash cans are. And then another thing that's good to take to the dog park, if you're planning on being there for a while, uh, we're gonna be there probably for a while because it's a celebration. So I'm bringing their doggy bowl and a bottle of fresh water. Little collars on. Charlie is desperately waiting. Don't you see how desperate he is to go? Luna is just, she's just relaxed. She's gonna get ready whenever we leave. And you guys, you guys are excited. Yeah! I'm excited to go see Charlie's family. Me too. I want to touch Me too. It's going to be a whole... You're going to be in doodle -doo heaven because it's going to be a whole bunch of golden Charlie's doodles. Charlie's dog is white, so it's going to get... That dog is going to get dirt. Yeah. No, it's not going to get that. It's not raining outside. It's no mud. Daniel. I like to do it. You ready to go to the dog park? Yeah. Yeah? What are you going to do when you get to the dog park? Oh, animals and spiders. I'm sure you'll see plenty of spiders. As I was mentioning, I have my frozen beans. These are black eyed peas. Um, they're frozen, so, but they're ready to go ahead and get stewed. 
and then we have our thighs and some drumsticks I'm gonna do some rice and beans and chicken for dinner because that's what us hispanics do we like to cook it every day yes not really every day we kind of switch things up. Sometimes it'll be yellow rice and beans. Sometimes it'll be white rice and beans. Sometimes it'll be white rice and chicken. So we switch it up. We don't eat white rice, beans, and chicken every day, but today that's what we're having. All right, we are jam packed in the car. We are on our way. I just went to go get some gas and the gas was $4.42. I just felt like sharing that with you guys. Oh, I forgot to close the, the door for my gas tank. See what happens when you uh, travel with children? Okay, it's closed. we're safe now. Well, rather my car is safe. We're packed up in here like sardines. Look at them. I can't even have my seatbelt on. Oh, don't complain. Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. Look. Uh, Charlie, not not Daniel. Look, they don't know what to do with themselves. They have a long car ride. Eventually, they will settle in and just probably just get on the floor or something. But right now, they want to be all in it to win it and be um, trying to get up to the front. But that's not going to happen. Charlie's dad. That's Charlie's dad. That's Charlie's brother. She's the sister right there with the pink collar, the light one. Charlie. You're having fun. You're having fun. You're having fun. Looks just like Charlie. That's Charlie's mama.
the party. It was so cute. We were so happy to see Charlie's uh, brothers and sisters and the mom and the dad. And it was just too cute. They, they did a really good job organizing that. The dogs are exhausted and they dirty. So I have the blankets up because there's a bunch of dirt on it. Look at Charlie. Luna was such a good girl. She actually paid attention. She stood by us. We took our eyes off of Charlie just one time, just for like, I think maybe a minute, two minutes. Now I know that a minute is too long. He was all the way in like the beach area. Like my heart sunk. I thought that it felt like I lost a kid. All I was thinking was somebody's gonna steal my doggy. What I would like to say is not to toot my horn because my dog is not well trained. My my Charlie is a pain in the butt. All I know is that my baby was well behaved. He was actually like, <laughs> he kind of faked the funk. I think he was faking it for everybody and was like, yeah, I'll be listening to my mom. I do what she tells me. I think he was doing it all for, you know, for them. But yeah, he behaved so well. When I would tell him to sit down, he will sit down. Uh, when I tell him to stay, he will stay. He was even like sitting and staying in place for pictures. I was so proud. We made it home and now of course I'm gonna be the fun police because I am not going to let them run up into my house with those dirty ass paws and uh, they just have a bunch of dirt and sand on them so I'm just pretty much going to do my usual. I'm going to blow dry that dirt off and clean their paws and their booties. As I said earlier, now I'm home, the dogs are clean. It's uh, 5.38 and I am going to start cooking now. I'm so tired, I wish I could sit down, but unfortunately, this is the life I live, right? I have to feed everything. So dinner was done at 6.35. That was really, 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 really quick. This is white rice, black eyed peas, and Air fried drumsticks. I also did air fried, uh, what are those called? Thighs. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my so called first vlog. And um, just to show you, this is clear proof that I don't just bake or cook dog food, I also cook human food. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time.